Good morning. Good morning from paradise. This is absolutely paradise. I'm Favor. I'm Robert. Welcome to the Carnival Dream Cruise Vlog Series. Thank you so much for joining us today. And as you can tell, we are in the beautiful Half Moon Key. And we are super excited to be here. So, along the side of the screen, blocking this gorgeous view, are all the activities happening on the ship, the breakfast options, dinner menu, all of that is running across the screen. Today, we are not in a cabana, which is a first for us. We are actually here in a clamshell. Now, we have already made our way to the island, obviously, and we've already done all the wake up morning things. So I'm gonna take you back briefly and show you all the things we did this morning to get here. We ran to the buffet and got a banana. We didn't really have any breakfast because we were too excited to get on this island. Yep. So I'm gonna take you back, start you at the very beginning of this morning and bring you in to right now. So we will meet you right back out there in the water. riding they have trams they have this big thingy <laughs> we can just walk straight down here go straight to the end where we want to go find staff in a yellow shirt and they will set us up with our clamshell you just have to have your ticket we are going all the way down so um, there, oh, there is a walking path. Woohoo! Let's see how far this walking path goes. There's the chapel. You can, I believe you can get married on Half Moon Key, can't you? So, I'm gonna keep walking this way. That is a Brandy question. I'm going to post that question to Brandy of Dave and Brandy's Excursions because that is something they would know. They got married on the They did, they got married on the Carnival Pride. So you can see the farther down you go, the quieter it gets. So tropical misting station, which is currently off. Alrighty, so we're just gonna keep walking. Here's the lobster shack. We're just gonna keep walking along this path until we feel like we're far enough down. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can pop a map up on the screen, but we are headed down past or to Cabana 14. That's usually where we are. Oh, look, a little kid's play area. How fun. Uh, that's usually where we are for cabanas. And it's very quiet down there and we're familiar with it. So that's where we're headed. So we will see you when we get down there. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a boring vlog of us walking. <laughs> when you run out of sidewalk, because you will, <laughs> you just simply cross over to the road. The beach and the cabanas are literally right there and this is the road that takes the you know the little trams run back and forth on um, and the walking and running course is over here so you can but we're just walking on this to avoid you know the, the workout of walking in the sand <laughs> but you simply could walk in the sand if you wanted to wonder how far down the cabanas go I mean, uh... and there's the restroom Okay, we should be good. Let's cross here. Yeah. 
powder soft sand. You, you just can't imagine. It's just so soft. There we go. We have chosen this clam. There's the life shot car, lifeguard shack. And then here's Cabana 15. You can see all the way down the beach. The music is pumping, not now, but it will be from the pirate ship. You can see it right there. So if you like the music, that's where you need to go. You can also rent water sports from there, um, which I'm not sure we're gonna do today. Usually it's a little bit more still. We'll see as the day goes on if uh, I end up getting a paddleboard or not. But uh, you can see, I mean, it's gorgeous. Now this beach will fill up as the day goes on, but right now it's empty. It's just stunning. Now there's not a lot to snorkel here, just, just so you know. Alrighty, we are all set up. We're this is up. awesome. Yeah, I think I like this just as much as the cabana. Now let me tell you, the cabana is really nice and it comes with a lot of perks but it's $450 and we have done it, I think three times. And when there's more than two people, it, it can be worth it. You can split the cost between the four people, six people, and it's great. We want to actually do the big double story cabana at the some villa. point, the villa, yeah. And we will. All right, now it's time to go get in that water, okay? We'll see you in the water. It gets deep. A little fast. It's at my waist already. We're still pretty close to the shore. <laughs> it is quite, it's, it's chilly. Look, we're pretty warm from getting over here. It's a warm day. It's so refreshing. it's refreshing when you first get in and then it's fine. Once you're in, you know, just get in. Yeah, this is just amazing. We're gonna do this for a second. We did bring our own floats. So we're gonna go blow them up over there and get back in this gorgeous water once we get a little acclimated to it. Look, seaweed is a problem everywhere. This is the first time we have ever been to this island where there's been seaweed in the water, ever. So, it's and not. it's not a lot, it's very manageable. So don't be freaked out by it. Just put your water shoes on, you won't even feel it. All right, forgive any water on the screen, but we have our little floaties. I will leave these links down in the description box if I find them of decent quality. We are trying them for the first time. We usually get these for our pool in the backyard, so, um, you know, they have them all over Amazon. They're very inexpensive. We bought a two-pack, um, so, you know, not expecting the highest of quality, but we will see. Robert's having a good time. There we go. This is nice. You just sit in it, and these aren't too tall for me. A lot of times, these will be... The net in between the two little floaties will be too long, and so I end up like at my mouth. It's just because they're too deep. So these are not. So a short girl, these are good for us. That looks like a workout. Yeah, that doesn't look like relaxing <laughs> fun. No, she is out there woof, woofing it. Man, not woofing it. What's the word? Working out. That's what the word is. Working it. Working it. That's it. Yeah. So just so you know, if you get exhausted, they will come out and get you and tow you back in. They have come to me falling off my uh, board before. Paddle board. So paddle board, yeah. So they, I'm sorry it's moving around. I, I'm in the water, so I mean, nothing I can do about it. Um, but uh, they will tow you back in. There they go, towing her back in. Can't see, so. You guys, I gotta tell you, save your money. I really like the clamshell. Robert just made an observation. If you look down here, you see, you know, it's like six, eight lawn chairs, or, or excuse me, loungers used up. I mean, seriously, there's just nobody down here, but if you look down there, thousands of people, thousands, <laughs> because everybody comes off the boat, off the tender shuttle, and goes straight, straight right there. They don't think about walking farther down, or maybe they enjoy the crowd. 
Now the music is not playing yet, but it will be. It is still only 9.43 a.m., so still very, very early. And there's a little rain off in the distance. I do not give it permission to come to me. If I were home, it could rain all day, but not right now. Wow, those people are way out there on that tricycle. Yeah. And they're still going out. Going with the current is not the difficult part. It's getting back against the current that gives you the workout. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Ooh, that boat is clipping it. Dang. Somebody fall in? I mean, he is booking it. Yeah. Woo, that's what he was doing. He was bringing us some waves. <laughs> A little excitement. You having a good day? I'm having an amazing day. Almost would say a perfect day. <laughs> At half moon cake. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, it is beautiful today. Beautiful. And it's just now 10 o'clock a.m. It says what 86 feels like 90. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, disagrees, but... I'm a little chilly, but that's just me. So <laughs> anyway, look at that ship back there behind Robert. <laughs> there it is. There you see it. <laughs> Gorgeous day. See, they have to, they have tubes. And there's mats that you can rent here, or they come with your cabana. So all sorts of. And there's lots of people out on water sports today. I'll turn you. Robert's gonna turn us. Catamarans out there. The water yeah. bikes. Paddle boards. Paddle boards and kayaks and all sorts of water sports today. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah, there she is. We had a little uh, shower move over, but it moved over to the, you know, the left side of the island. So we're good. Nothing got on us. Beautiful day. The clamshells have filled up quite a bit since we got here. Ours is the first one on the right there. It's about 11.30 now, so more people coming out to the island. We are about to head off and get back on the ship. It's uh, one o'clock and uh, Pasta Bella closes at three or 3.30 today. So we're gonna go back to the ship and take a shower and get ready. Just rinse off and then uh, have lunch and then come back to the cabin and really get dressed for the evening. Blow dry my hair, you know all that stuff. So, um, oh, the, the shuttle just left. So, be a few minutes before we get over there anyway. So, anyway, what a great day we've had. What a great day. So we will see you back on the ship. We are back on the ship and before we took a shower and got dressed for the evening, we did come up here to Pasta Bella. I've popped the menu up on the screen for you. It's simple, you just choose your selections and you take it up there to the drop box or the attendant. Um, I need to take that back because there are croutons on it. So that is not gluten-free, but I will fix that. <laughs> That's why I always say you have to be your own advocate. You have to make sure for yourself. <laughs> they do what they can and they they take as best care of you as they possibly can, but mistakes can happen. So, you know, if you see something glaringly obvious, obviously it wasn't done on purpose. So just go and let them know, they'll take care of it. Super easy and taken care of. And Robert got a couple of burritos from Blue Iguana. Yep. Mm. 
I'm sure you can tell if you've been watching this vlog series thus far. We really have only eaten, we have only eaten in the dining room once. Um, not that we don't enjoy the dining room, we love the dining room, but sometimes we just like to have a cruise where we just sort of freestyle. We just eat wherever we want, all over the ship. It's not even Norwegian. It's not even Norwegian, that's right. But tonight, after some mass quantities of pasta bella and blue iguana, later on this evening, I will probably have sushi again and Rob will probably have pizza. So, um, and I think we always look ahead at the menu so we can see if there's a night that we really want to be in the dining room. So we will, we'll go ahead and look ahead and see if there's another night and I will go and pre-order for that night. And here's my huge portion of pasta with bolognese sauce. Don't you worry, I'll have no problem finishing that. I was so busy showing my friend Carl that I already ate some. <laughs> but I'm gonna show it to you now and know that I've had two pieces after all that pasta because it's so rare to have something so delicious and gluten-free dessert-wise on the ships. This is delicious. So to all my gluten-free friends, this is a chocolate fudge cake and it is delicious and it is gluten-free and it's so good, I'm afraid it's not gluten-free. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just came out here after getting dressed. Well, you know, took a shower, did my hair. There's a thunderstorm over there, but I was very curious. You see the beautiful color of the water in the shallow parts. It, parts this water is just gorgeous. I was just very curious about how many people are still on the island. It is currently 2.45. And the last tender back is at 3.15. And then there's still... close out this vlog, we're going to end our evening with a little bit of popcorn. They're making it fresh right now. Everybody's watching the new Thor movie out here on the full deck. It's a beautiful evening for it. Mm. Can you just smell it? Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, what a long day we had. It was awesome. It was, but it's actually the next day because we were so exhausted yesterday, we completely forgot to close out Half Moon Keys vlog. So thank you so, so much for joining us today. We had such a great day. It's such a fabulous port. The water's beautiful. The views are beautiful. The beach. The beach is beautiful. You just can't beat it. And our first time coming to the island without a cabana, it won't be our last. We really yeah. enjoyed it. We, I mean, the clamshell worked out great. It was fantastic. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you'll subscribe. It's free. And give this, give this video a thumbs up. And we will see you in the next one in Nassau. Bye. Bye.